If you ever wondered how the spiral of banana and a bunch of other stuff in Touch Designer, you have come to the right place. First bring in a movie file in top, which, surprise, contains a banana as the default PNG. Now connect the banana to a null top and name the movie file in top, banana and the null top spiral banana. Turn on the viewer on that one. To keep things organized, right click somewhere inside your network editor. Go to the display and turn off backdrop tops. Split your pane layout in two and select top viewer in the second one. Ok, now back to your network editor, insert a composite top. We'll need that one for the feedback top which I'm gonna add now. Add a transform top to that and connect it to the composite. Swap the positions to have the transform as the first input operator. Drag the composite back on the feedback and turn the operation to luminance disk difference. This will be important for the spiral-like appeal we want to achieve. Let's also implement a keyboard in job. This way we will be able to restart the feedback top on any occasion. Now to make it visually more interesting, set the size inside the transform P to 0.9 and 0.9. Okay, to make the banana actually spiral, we need to bring in some rotation. The most obvious thing would be to implement an apps time.seconds expression here. But since this would cover the whole rotation spectrum, we won't use that. Instead, I want to oscillate between minus 13 and 15. For this, I will grab an LFO and set its frequency to 0.1. Add a math job to that. Inside the range tab, set the from range to the LFO's range, which is minus 1 and 1, and the to range will be the desired range, which is minus 13 and 15. Now export the job to the rotation parameter within the transform top. Okay, let's spice it up a bit by inserting a level top to the feedback loop. Go back to the transform, set the extent to mirror. Now playing around with the gamma parameter of the level top leads to some pretty interesting effects. Now to make playing around with all those parameters a bit more convenient, I'll grab a constant job. This enables us to store multiple values, which can be used to manipulate parameters in other operators. Let's start with the size. Declare it and export it to the transform top. Now making changes inside the constant job affects the actual feedback loop. Let's try it with pivot2. Declare a constant named pivot and export it to the transform top. Ok, now I'm gonna do the same for the gamma value within the level top. For this parameter, however, I'll need to make some adjustments, since I want to manipulate the value ranging from 0.8 to 1.2. Let's add a select job to grab the gamma variable. And then simply add a math to adjust the range of it. 0 to 1 should translate to 0 0.8 to 1.2. Export this to the gamma parameter of the level top. Okie dokie, we are done for now, but as always with Touch Designer, the possibilities are endless. Feel free to add more controls to the constant job, experiment with different inputs rather than just a banana, and yeah, maybe also try making it all directive or something. I, for example, made an audio-reactive spiral chicken dancing to techno. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.